What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nothing But Skills, and in today's video for Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we're going to be focused on the features that the bivouac system offers in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, a lot of you guys are going to have questions, some of you are probably wondering what are all the features that you can do in here, and that's what this video is for. If you guys want to see any other videos on Ghost Recon Breakpoint, make sure to check out my playlist where I have a ton of information that I've been putting out as soon as I get it. So what can we do here? Well, we have preparations, tactics, craft, and garage. So I clicked on preparations. Each time you come to a bivouac, you can spend time doing an activity that will give you a temporary buff. Now you can get one of six types of buffs, switch between them at any time at the bivouac. So I'm currently eating, and what that does is it gives you 20% injury resistance. And we're actually gonna go through each one of the six buffs that you can get. So eating gives you a 20% injury resistance. And remember, there are six different ones that you can switch to. Hydrate is going to give you fatigue resistance by 50%. Tech review is going to give you drone range plus 20%. Stretching is going to give you 10% stamina. Weapon review is going to give you 10% accuracy. And resources is going to increase your XP gain by 10%. So those are the six buffs you can use. Now we get into tactics. Now tactics allows you to change your class. So if you have assault, panther, field medic or sharpshooter unlocked you can select through there and then also you can adjust your classes so if you want to switch out your primary and put on an lmg versus the m4a1 you can if you want to switch out your sidearm if you want to switch out the armor you have on you can do that all once you are here at tactics you also have the ability of selecting different loadouts so on this game you can save presets up to three i believe there might be more but i only have three options right here so you can save up to three presets and say if you want to swap from a assault rifle class using an m4a1 to a sniper rifle class to a smg class you can do it with the click of a button so now that we looked over preparation and tactics let's take a look at crafting because crafting is a key essential part to this game you can use collected resources to craft support items offensive equipment and rations each recipe requires items from specific categories or resources. So, so far, this is really cool, the whole crafting system. I'm not sure if Ghost Recon Wildlands had this, but I do like this. So we have the syringe, which I'm four out of four, but it tells you the items I need, so I can't craft this one. But look at this C4. It requires one explosive materials, and I can actually craft one of those. Um, the mine requires an explosive material and a material I don't have. And then I'm already maxed out on frag grenades, so I can't craft that. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft this C4 charge. So we click the explosive material. We're going to hit open. We can pick one. Grab this one. We're going to hit craft. And there we go. Now we have one item. So crafting is really quick. Let's see what else we can craft. So that was offensive weapons. Now we have rations. Now rations give you temporary bonuses. This one gives you 10% accuracy for 10 minutes. This one gives you 10% injury resistance for 20 minutes. This one right here gives you 10% handling for 10 minutes. We have one that gives us negative 20% stamina cost for 10 minutes, plus 5% reload speed for 10 minutes, plus 5% damage resistance for 10 minutes, and then the final one, plus 10% health regen speed. So we're actually gonna craft this one right here. This one requires sugar, so we have some sugar. And we can get it from bananas or something else, so we craft. And there we go, now we have one ration. We also have one that requires one fiber, so let's craft this. And remember, all these resources you can get in the open world as you're running around. And there we go, we are able to craft one. So we got another one. The rest, we don't have enough rations, well, enough resources to actually craft those rations and the final tab is the garage i don't have any items but i'm going to show you a couple of the vehicles you can actually buy at maria shop right here at the base of operation now if you happen to purchase any of these vehicles from maria shop they actually just cost in-game credits that you can get through playing missions through killing other enemies through loot in boxes but yeah you can actually buy any of these vehicles and then they'll be in your garage so anytime you set up a bivouac whether you're at the base of operation or out in the world, you can call for one of these vehicles to be sent to you. So that's a pretty cool feature that you can have right there at the bivouac. So we have preparation, tactics, craft, and garage. But that is pretty much everything you can do in the bivouac. Now when you are ready to go back into the game, 
You can choose the time you want to go in, whether you want to go in later at night, earlier in the day, if you want a night time to have that night cover, if you want to go during the day so it's brighter and you can see better, you can choose the time that you come in. I just said leave the bivouac right now, and there we go. That is pretty much everything you can do at the bivouac. I don't know if they'll add more features once the full game releases, but I know a lot of you guys have been asking me the question about hey, what can you do at the bivouac? I want a little, little bit more about it. And there you go, that's everything you can do as of right now, and this was in the beta. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think there's enough features in there for you, or do you think you should have some more features? Or what features would you like them to add to the bivouac? That might be something they'd like to know. I think, I think it's pretty cool so far. I wanna get my hands on the full version so that way I can see the polished version of this game. But so far, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm going to be keep bringing you guys some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint videos to this channel because I actually had a lot of fun playing it and I can't wait to try out the PvP. But expect more content from this game on this channel. Remember, if you guys want to see more content from Ghost Recon Breakpoint, leaving a like is the best thing you guys can do on my videos. So I know you appreciate it and it also helps out the video. And don't forget, if you want to check out any of my Ghost Recon Breakpoint videos, check out my Ghost Recon Breakpoint playlist. And if you are deciding on buying this game from the Epic Store, if you guys use my creator code, nothing but skills, remember with a Z, you guys can help support me without any additional cost. It's just kind of like a referral code that Epic Solar gives out. So if you want to support the channel, use that code. But that's going to wrap up this video. If you're new to this channel, first time watching any of my videos, know this is nothing but skills. And if you guys have questions, use the comment section down below because I'm always there reading them. And I try to answer any questions to the best of my ability. I appreciate the support, everybody. But until the next Ghost Recon Breakpoint video, nothing but skills out.